Hey there, streakers. It's a new year, and that means that there are probably new streaks out there. In fact, we've been seeing streaking everywhere. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's start streaking. Are we starting? Sure. <laughs> I always feel like... Jamie and I are off to a new year, and we are so excited to be with you, streakers. We have such great news that we're going to get to, but in the news, we've been noticing something across the board. Yes, all over the place. Yeah, like, really there are is. people streaking everywhere. Yeah, I know, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Put your clothes on, people. What's happening? I have to tell you the funniest joke. We were, in a, we were talking to someone the other day, and he was saying, you know what? Streaking helps people lose weight. And he was telling us about a personal streak that he had. And and now I'm trying to remember. This is great. How the, <laughs> I remember how this. the joke went, but it was just like now you need to tell people that I've been streaking for this long, and and I've lost the weight, and I'm going to keep on streaking. And I'm like, yeah, but now you're going to look better doing it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> As you look at streaking, so one of the areas that we saw streaking of late was the Today Show. Read a book with Jenna, and on the Today Show, she said, let's start streaking. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time that I've ever heard people quote us in regards to streaking in a realm other than running across a football field naked. When you look at streaking, a lot of people, that's their first reaction. And on the Today Show, all of our co-hosts were the same reaction we always yeah. get. Can we say that? Can, Can we, we call that? it that? Can we call it streaking? Is that really what it okay, is? Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be brave <laughs> and I'm going to say, we're going to start streaking. And we'll be streakers. We can do it. And she turned to the audience and said, does everyone want to start streaking with me? And everyone's like, yeah. Yes! And that was reminiscent of the first question that you asked me way mm -hmm. back when. What? That was 2015. Yep. That you asked me, you said, do you want to start streaking with me? I'm like, absolutely. Without any question. Without Here any we question. Go. I, I'm curious if other streakers have tried that. If they've if they've gone up to someone, hey, you want to start streaking with me? <laughs> I bet they have. I'm sure someone has. You want to start streaking with me? It's how every conversation starts to tell right. people about streaking. Right, exactly. The other place that I've seen it is, and now that I, I should have researched this before I got on, but there's an app out there that takes books that you've read and helps you turn them into action. And I've thought that is exactly what streaking is, is being able to take things that you've read or learned or have witnessed from other people and look at yourself and say, how can I make this a part of my life? Right. What does that look like? Taking concept and, and the content. what's and content and moving it into action. Into action, yes. Which it also brings up another article that we saw. The Wall Street Journal sent out a... Uh, news or invited people, and if you've you've seen it on the Wall Street Journal, there is a lifestyle reporter who is inviting people to join her four weeks of getting better every mm -hmm. single day. And I love the way she says, although many of us begin January with a pledge to make grand reforms, resolutions often fade fast. So this year, focus instead on implementing simple science-based strategies to make each part of your day a little better. And exactly what streaking is again. Right. So I was thinking about, I'm like, why are we seeing this everywhere? We're starting to see it everywhere because people are starting to recognize that this is something that actually works. Right, exactly. That, that you can actually have results yep. from being able to implement and long-term results that, that stay with you. Yeah. So question for you streakers, are you seeing it as well? As you've gotten into streaking, are you starting to see more and more how the streak and streaking is taking precedence and really being the place of self-improvement? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great question. So we'd love to hear from you if you have that and just let us know. So speaking of that, February 1st is a big day for us. Yes, it is. It's a it's a great day. And I love that it's February 1st. <laughs> it's not January 1st. It's not January 1st. <laughs> it's February, February 1st. February 1st is our big day. And yes, we intentionally chose that day. We did. And what is that day? That day is the day that the new, uh, the upgrade to the app will be released. And streaking, this is going to be streaking 3.0. Because you remember where we started with the streaking app? Mm -hmm. Do you remember way back when? Way back when, yes. I remember when I just wanted something that would reliably keep track of my streaks. <laughs> right, that you could, that I could check it off. That I could just check it off. And we have that. Yes. 
And there's a lot of other apps out there that you can do similar things. Yes, there as are. As far as keep keep track of your daily activities and what those daily activities are and if you've done them or not. So the, the streaking app started out as just marking your apps. Yep. And that was fantastic. The second thing that we did with the streaking app, though, is made it so that it goes to a central server to record all of the streaks that are complete. And that's significant because if you lose your phone or if you go cross-platform, iPad, iPhone, Android, it doesn't matter what platform you're on, your streaks will follow you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Now, that that's significant as well. Also huge, because yes. That took us a little bit of a differentiator from all the other tracking apps that are out there because now we have a central location and rather than relying on the backup for the particular device, you you just have an account and we will keep that information for you. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing. That's what I've always wanted is something that kept track of it. But now we've ventured into this place that... I have only dreamed of <laughs> and has broadened my vision of what is possible. Right. Which, which is? is? I'm so excited. The thing that's been so fun to watch with what is happening with streaking has been this social aspect of it. Something that I didn't take into account when right. we first started, but something that has become really exciting. It really has. And... There, so there was something that when we very first started developing an app, there was something that you wanted and you called it the ticker tape. Yep. I wanted the the, the stock market tip, ticker tape of streaks. Of streaks. So that as streaks were being completed, you could see what's been done, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And one of the things that I've loved is that as we've developed this, you have never... You've never given up on that idea. No, I haven't. You, you've been like, I still want this idea. I want it. And I I think I was the only one for a while. You kept with it. And you were like, I really but want how, this how to come, happen. Just curiosity. How come you think that I was the only one that, that wanted that for a while? Do you think that people are like, I, I don't know. I'm just curious. Because it, took, it takes a little while for the vision to be vetted out. Yeah. And so we started with putting it on the website. And it really was, it did follow along Um the ticker tape of, of like the stock market. It was across, it was a banner across the top of the website that would move and show different streaks that right. people had. Right. But one of the things that I wanted to talk about today on our podcast, because so we're beta testing the, the, the new app. And one of the things that we've added that has been so amazing is what we call the discover page. Yeah. And what the discover page is, is when you open it up, it just says the number of streaks completed today. So a picture is worth a thousand words. So if you're going to watch this on YouTube, we'll actually put on here what this looks like and where, where it is. So here is the actual app as it now exists. And you'll see at the bottom, we've got the discover page. All right. So this is pretty cool. So when you click on the discover page, the first thing that pops up is number of streaks completed today. Yeah. And we're toying with the idea of if we're going to keep that for the day or for the month, but right. day, month, neither, or week, somewhere neither there. here nor there. Right. The fun is being able to look and see what has been completed. And so as you, so this has become my favorite page to go to. If I be completely candid, I, and how come, what is it? What is it about this page? Cause it's mine too. And I'll tell you why I'm mine, but what do you, what do you think? So there's a couple things that have happened when, when, when this was first. So when this, the idea has always been there, Yep. but when it jumped from a ticker tape from our website to, I wonder if we can put a whole page on the app. And the first time that this was shown to me, the idea of what was being accomplished was overwhelmingly motivating to me. Mm. It was so amazing to be able to see a number and think all of these little things are being done by people all day long. Yeah. And so, and then I was highly motivated to, the first thing I wanted to do was, well, if I mark my streak off, does it show up? Right. Which it did, which yeah. was so fun to be able to mark my streak <laughs> off and then go over to the discover page and right there on the page, it said, Jamie Downs did her streak. Yep. It doesn't say that, but it shows your streak and, and the it number shows of your username. days, your username and the number right. of days that you've completed it. So this has been a place where I come and I get motivated 
it has been a place where I get ideas. So you just scrolled through one. This is my favorite streak on the streaking app. Which of is? anyone that has ever <laughs> really? been said. Yes. <laughs> and it says the streak is make my side of the bed. <laughs> That's her streak. Right. I love that. Because to me, it embodies so much of what streaking is, which is laughably simple and completely mine to decide. What is my laughably simple? Yeah. And I love that she was like, you know what? Making the bed may not be the best thing for whatever reason that was set that she's that she was like, I'm not going to make the whole bed. I'm, I'm just not do the have whole control thing. over making <laughs> my side of the bed. Right. Which I think I just love that. I love that it's that that was her street I but i fantastic. saw that because i can go through this discover page yeah so the the idea i guess why do i love it so much i love being able to see other ideas of streaks that people are having and being like oh that's a really great idea but i also love the feeling of movement and hope that i get as i scroll through and see all of these things that people are doing to try and improve their lives, to become the people they want to be. Right. And it's interesting because I'm inspired by, I'm as inspired by someone that started a streak and has it going for five days as I am by somebody who has a streak and has had it going for a thousand days. Right. And, and so, and so many of the things you start to, the other thing I guess I love about it is you start to realize that you're not alone in the things that sometimes you think, wow, this is a really simple thing. Why is it so hard for me to keep doing? <laughs> right. So for example, how many people set a streak to make their bed? Yeah. That's not a super hard thing to do, but it's really great to look and be like, okay, this is something a lot of people are like, you know what? I gotta, I'm gonna set a streak to make this happen because it's not happening right. consistently. Exactly. exactly. As I, re as I look through these, as you're talking, and I think about everything that you're saying as far as the motivation that comes from, and I've just been scrolling through. Yes. I, I mean, there's there's thousands and thousands of streaks being completed on a, on a monthly on basis. On a monthly basis. And it's just amazing to see the number in just the areas of physical. Mm -hmm. So you've got physical streaks on here. You've got professional streaks. You've got personal and you've also got spiritual streaks. And as you just start to look look through here, it just is amazing uh, to see all the different areas where people are looking at it and saying, I'm going to do something simple, laughably small every single day. Every single day. And so what, what motivates me is the number of people that have been at it for a little while, like 139 days, and others that are like, you know what? I just started a streak and I'm seven days into it. And I love that... The, the seven days. So seven days would be just before the beginning of the year. Right. Just before, which just is interesting. Just before, which, and then you've got a couple that are like, oh, they just started that yesterday. Yep. Just after the beginning of the year. And that's what's great about starting a streak is that you can start it when, because it's laughably simple, there isn't this feeling of waiting till the beginning of the week or waiting until the beginning of the month or mm -hmm. waiting till the beginning of the year. It's like, no, I'm just going to start it right now. Right. So for example, I set a new streak um, at the, I actually didn't set a streak. I adopted somebody else's streak. Did you really? Which, so that's the other thing. So that's thing. the other thing, the adopt. I mean, as we look at it, as you look at, um, I'll just, I'm, I'm going to go to one of these and I'll go into the adopt, which is pretty cool. And why did we? So log one transaction daily review remaining balance. So I'm going to adopt that one. And this is pretty darn cool too. <laughs> so you can click a button and it automatically takes that streak that was set yep. by somebody else yep. and asks you, how many times do you want to do this streak a day? Is this a public or a private streak? And what folder of yours do you want to put this streak in? <laughs> and then so once cool. you click it all, that streak is adopted into your set of streaks. Right. And why, why did, because this is another thing that was a vision of yours or that came yeah. through. No, it was how, totally. Talk me a little bit through the process of how Adopt a Streak came about. Well, one of the things that that we found and that we were talking a lot about, because this it actually wasn't my brainchild as much as it was as we've talked with streakers, it's coming up with the streak was the hard thing. Mm -hmm. But when you start to go through discovering streaks, adopting a streak, oh, 
that makes sense and I can do it very quickly. Yeah. And so it made sense if someone has already done the hard work of figuring out what's laughably simple, then why not give everyone the ability to adopt that streak and to make it their own? Yeah. That's, and it just, it makes the process of starting streaking so much easier, which is what our whole aim and desire is, is to make it laughably simple to get started. I agree. And and it's fun to think about somebody else has picked this laughably simple streak and now I'm going to adopt it. And eventually it'll show, it, it also shows like how many adoptions right. that streak has. So there's, so there we have log one transaction daily review remaining balance. And that's at zero days because that's the one that I just adopted. So you adopted that streak yeah. and now that streak can become I mean, it is, your streak. it's just the coolest thing. Now I have a streak like that. And one of the things I was actually thinking about is if I have a streak like that, but I like this streak better, I could adopt this one and then just put the number of days in that I've been doing mm -hmm. the other one. you've been doing one. the other one. Because I've been doing the same thing, but yep. I'm like, wow, I really like how that one is worded. Mm -hmm. And that's more true to exactly what it is that I've been doing. So you can say, I've been doing that streak, but I like the way that they said it. I'm going to adopt that streak and just put in, Right. I've been doing that for this many days so exactly. far. Exactly, yeah. And then, like you said, once as that as streaks get adopted, you get to see um, how many adoptions that particular streak has had, which is also, I think, part of crowdsourcing. Mm -hmm. You know, people recognizing that okay, that's a good streak. I really like it, and I want to keep it going. So I adopted a streak of stretch at least once daily. Yeah, and I have been wanting to pick up yoga. So it was great because... And I got to tell you guys, she is great at picking up yoga. And the reason why is because she's like, I am not good at this at all. I am so but you, bad at yoga. But you have, but you really have done a great job of putting down your, what is it? Your natural rejection response and saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And so anyway, you... So the beautiful it. thing is I adopted this streak and then because I've been thinking about wanting to do yoga for a while. So I adopted the streak and it was great because it eased me into where I am right now, which was the streak was to just stretch at least once right. every day. Right. So when I first adopted the streak, of course, the first two days I was like, oh, I'm going to do yoga. And I did great for two days. And then I hit the third day and I was in bed and I was like, I didn't do anything today. So I remember for for three or four days in a row, my stretch at least once a day was was doing a stretch in bed at night before I went to sleep. <laughs> here's, what, here's what would happen. I'd come in and I'd see her just folded over <laughs> on the bed. And, and you're I'd like, what are like, you doing? What are you doing? You're like, I'm doing, I'm my, doing stretch. my stretch. <laughs> this is my stretch. I love it. But because of that, I've also, so then there was one night that I was like, oh, you know what? There's this yoga for bed video that I saw on YouTube. I think I'll do that tonight. And then now it's turned into I've, I've accepted a 30 day yoga challenge that I'm working on. Mm. I'm on day four. Now, this is an interesting little topic here as far as a challenge versus a streak. Mm -hmm. And what, what, how do you translate those two? So the challenge is what exactly the word says it is. It is a challenge. Right. It is hard for me. It is a reach. And it's something that was put out there that I wanted to do um, was this person that on YouTube that was doing a 30 day yoga challenge, which was do yoga right. every day for, and right. I'm sure everyone's seen other similar things. Sure. Aren't but, you doing, let's give her a plug. Yes. I am doing yoga with Adrian. And she's fantastic. I, I mean, I haven't done That's yoga fun. with Adrian, but I've seen you doing yoga with Adrian and she's great. I love, very I, calming. Very calming. Yes. Which I need. <laughs> And so, but the thing that I wanted to bring out is that this was something that has been weighing heavy on me for a couple months. The idea that, because I've been running, but the idea that I was like, as I'm getting older, I need to stretch more. I need to build body mass. And I've thought about joining a gym or... I'd say muscle mass. Muscle mass, not body mass. Did I say body mass? I can do that on my own. Yeah, we, I need I, a little help I've with the muscle body mass. mass. through the years. <laughs> yes. But muscle mass. Muscle mass. Let's do that. Right. So I guess what I wanted to share is how I love how streaking takes a thought that's niggling in the back of your brain. One of our favorite words. My favorite word, a niggle. 
and it turns it into as I'm scrolling through the discover page, mm -hmm. seeing that someone else has a streak to stretch. And I saw it a couple times. Right, right. And about the fourth or fifth time, I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to adopt I'm that streak. I'm just going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm starting that streak. And then it more, and, and when I started it, there was a momentum and a motivation. Right, right. That I did more. I did a lot the first couple days. But then like with everything, something happens when you've added something new to your life that upsets the routine. <laughs> exactly. And I found myself sitting in bed thinking, I, have, I didn't do any yoga today. But because of that streak, I was able to literally sit in bed. I didn't have to change out of my pajamas. I didn't even have to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. I just sat in bed and did a streak. Right. And then I did that for a couple days. But what happens is it's keeping that, that, that motivation that you had to add this thing to your life. Streaking gives you the ability to add it slowly, to give you the time and the successes needed to keep going, to not give up on it, to keep evaluating how you want this to be a part of your life without it dropping off your plate. Because yesterday, if I may, you, you had a tough day. I mean, I did. I am fighting a cold, which is messing with my beginning of the year motivation and kind of getting me down a little bit. And, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go do, but here's what was great. So actually I'm going to go back a little bit. So yes, the, the first day <laughs> I did my yoga challenge, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm starting my yoga challenge. The 30 days day one right, did not go well. Yeah. And so I did. I literally just did the first minute of the little 30 minute video and I'm like, that's it. That's all I'm doing that's today. That's it. I'm not doing anything. So my more. streak was alive, but my 30 day challenge for everybody that, you know, is trying to do it 30 days in a row and started on day one, mine started on day two. Right. But I'm okay with that because I'm giving myself this latitude to add this bigger thing mm -hmm. to my life. I'm still holding myself accountable. So yesterday was day three, I think. Um, and I, I'm not feeling good. And, and plus on top of it, I've realized that I'm really not super great at yoga. <laughs> like there's those people that you're like, I want to look like her. That's not what I look like. But the challenge of being able to keep going with it and the motivation of knowing that the minute I do that first stretch, it's like, okay, I've got my streak done. Yeah. And then I'm going to keep going. And it really is interesting. That's one of the things that you've probably heard a million times that 90% of the work is just showing up. Right. Like that's just showing up that first time. Streaking helps you show up. I think that there's something else that you just highlighted that's important. And that is when you're starting something, comparing yourself to someone that's been doing it for 10 years or for five who years. Who does it professionally. Who does it professionally. <laughs> Not a good call. Yeah. Not a good call at all. And I think that's the beauty of what you do when you set a streak as well, is you're saying, I'm going to do something laughably simple, mm -hmm. which means it's not going to be at the level of what someone who's professional doing it. Because that professional's laughably simple is going to be different than your and laughably, laughably simple. simple. However, I can learn, I can be mentored by someone that has this yoga streak for su such a long time. And by being able to look at them and say, okay, that's to where I can get. However, I'm not there now and I'm not going to be there. I need to put the work, energy, and effort into it that that person did for 10 years. And that, that's what I see is, is streaking gives you the opportunity to start and to just say, well, I'm going to do at least this one thing. And to really focus on uh, my focus is the input. Yeah. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up. <laughs> That's it too. <laughs> and and trust that the outcome will be there. Yeah. But I'm really working hard on not focusing so much on that outcome and focusing more on I'm showing up and not just yesterday, but today and tomorrow and the next day. And because it's something, and that's what I guess I really value about streaking is that when you've started a streak, Obviously, you've taken some time to think about it. And it is something that you're like, I do want this to be a part of my life. Right. I do want this to be something that I'm doing. Right. Exactly. That's what I see. And I thought about it and I'm like, I don't know if yoga will be the thing that I do forever. But stretching, doing some kind of a stretch every day 
is totally something that I want to be a part of my life yeah. forever. So I want to go back to revisit where we started, which was seeing streaking everywhere. The Wall Street Journal article, uh, the lifestyle reporter, and I think I have her name right here. Let me just look real quickly. Um, Anne Marie uh, Chacker, C H A K E R. Would you mm -hmm. say it that way? Yeah. So she, she, I, I get this little welcome email, and I'm sure it goes out to thousands and thousands of people. But she says, "I'm Anne Marie Chaker, uh, lifestyle and wellness reporter for the Wall Street Journal. Thank you for signing up for the four week challenge to build a better day." Okay. So, what I look at here is, okay, when the four week challenge is over, then what? Right. And that's what I like about the whole idea of streaking is considering that it's a four week challenge is okay. Just like what you were saying. That's why I wanted to go into what is the difference and how do streaks and challenges work together? I suppose that when you, after you finish this 30 day challenge, you're not going to stop your streak. No, I, no, I don't want to. I, I mean, it's going to keep going, right? I also recognize that, that I am specifically, so this 30 day challenge, I've had to think, what will I adjust to make sure that this is a priority? Yeah. But I don't know that I would be able to adjust everything all the time to make this a priority. I may have a different priority in a couple months. Right, right. And so, but the, the But streak, the thing about it though, is you want to keep the streak alive because yes. you want to be healthy and fit. Yes. Is it, so the, so would you say then that the challenge is a spark? It's a, it's a spark to get you going. It's a spark to maybe go up to a level, but then establish your four, floor of a street. Yeah. And I think, I think also the opportunity to look at and think, how do I want to keep these things going? I think, so one of the benefits of challenges that I see is that it adds variety. Yeah. You get the chance to push yourself in a little bit of a different way. Maybe not something that you want to keep doing at that level all the time because because you want to have variety and you want to mix things up. And so you can do different challenges that push yourself. But the streak is the underlying premise of, I want this thing to be an aspect of my life all the time. So yeah. I want to be healthy. I want to do certain things that, so for me, the running is, I want some kind of, the run walk is, I want some kind of a cardio aspect in my life always. Yeah. And so this gets me going and doing it all the time. Mm -hmm. So I think that's super important to have this foundational aspect to it. And then a challenge adds variety and it can add difficulty. It can add a time limit, yeah. which I think has a benefit as well, where you're like, I'm going to live at this certain level, recognizing that this isn't a level that I can sustain forever but I'm going to put some effort into it for the next 30 days. Yeah. I look at it as the opportunity to raise your floor a little bit. Mm. You ha you weren't stretching at all. Now right. you're going to do a 30-day challenge uh, with Adrian. Adrian, is that yep. right? Uh, the challenge with Adrian. And for 30 days, you're going to do 30 minutes of yoga every single day. Right. Now, you're probably not going to maintain that level. However, what you will do... And I don't know, I mean, 30 may be laughably simple for you at, at some point. But what you will do is do at least one yoga move every day. I, I, what is the actual streak that you have? Stretch at least once every day. Okay. And so that stretch at least once every day, if that's via yoga, if that's just a stretch that you do on your own, you're going to keep that. And then at some point, you may look at it and say, you know what? I think I can raise my floor a little bit to go to a little bit different, laughably simple level. A lot of times we get pushback, a lot of pushback on laughably simple because it's like, well, you're not challenging yourself enough. And you have to remember that it's the consecutive muscle that you're building. The consecutive muscle is the one that you need in order to keep going. And that is the one, and that is the reason why you make it laughably simple so that you can keep that consecutive muscle being built through time. And I just, I wish I could stress enough the value that it has that when things go differently in your life than you expect, just being able to take some time and think about these things that you've decided are important. And that's what a streak does. Because when it's laughably simple, you may have days that 
all you do is the laughably simple aspect of it. But in doing that, it's just a little reminder every day that this is who I want to be. I don't live at the same level of that every single day because that's not life. Life ebbs and flows and, and we have to accept that we live at different levels at different times based on different circumstances and things that are happening in our life. Right. But having streaks is a constant reminder through that consistency of saying, this is the person I want to be. These are the things that are important to me. There's times that I'm going to be able to do them fabulously. Right. And there's times that I'm barely going to be able to do them. Barely. barely. <laughs> but the barely is still a confirmation, a daily confirmation, and maybe a daily affirmation of saying, I'm affirming that this is the person I want to be. And I'm affirming that by doing this thing every day or every week. Mm -hmm. And I think that has a huge amount of, I'm not even going to say I think because I've witnessed it in my own life, the value that it has in being able to look back over years now of certain streaks and saying, this is now a part of my life. And I'm really proud of that. Yeah. And I've accomplished some big things because of that. But I also look at it and think, but even better than the big things are the times that I get up and do it again after the big thing is accomplished, yeah. that it is still this ongoing. And so you start to recognize, I really am becoming this person. And now what? Now it opens up the vista to be like, I can become even more. Like it's a continual, perpetual, I can do more than I thought. Or... I'm doing better than I thought, or I'm just going to keep going today. <laughs> today I'm just going to keep going, just going to keep on going, so. which is important as so putting a, putting a little bit of a bow on. So the today show read with Jenna, they're talking about opening a book and reading at least one paragraph every day. What a unique and novel idea. What a novel idea. <laughs> Just so you but know. But why is it so wonderful that I love this, that right. we're looking at this, is because this actually works. Right. That's, I guess, the thing. So the, as I've looked at it and I thought, I'm seeing streaking everywhere. I've really enjoyed this year to be able to look at things that I want to add to my life and think, okay, is there a streak that I can set around this that will get me started, that will get me going and keep me going? Yeah. And Yes. The answer is yes, there yes. is. And as the new app comes out, you'll be able to go through that discover page and see hundreds of people picking thousands of things that they want to do. And you can watch as those are completed. It's actually, it's every actually day. thousands of people. Thousands of people <laughs> I mean... picking hundreds of thousands of things. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what were you going to say? Just that that's exciting to me. It's exciting yeah. to look around and to feel like you're part of a movement, a movement to improve and movement to share these good things with the world. Yeah. I mean, so that was watching the Today Show. How fun is it to look and think when she was excited to say all of these people around me, do you guys want to start doing this with me? Do you me? want to start streaking with me? And why is me? that exciting? Because it's exciting to look at all of those people and think, look, together we can all read a little bit more. We can read to our kids more. We can read to ourselves more. We can, and we don't have to do it absolutely amazingly gorgeous every day. But how exciting and motivating is it to think that we can all do it a little bit better today? Yeah, absolutely. Streakers, that's what we have for you today. And I'll tell you, this new year, 2023, has started out with a bang with what we're doing in the streaking app. And there's all kinds of other things in the streaking app as well. You can download it now today. You'll have the older version. And on February 1st, just know this, that you'll get the new version. And we will be looking for beta testers in the next couple of weeks just to get all the rest of the little bugs out. So you'll be seeing it, something from us on that. Or if you'd like to be a beta tester, you can email me, Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-E-R-Y at streakingmastery.com or Jamie, J-A-M-I at streakingmastery.com. Feel free to follow us on any of the social media outlets that are out there. We've got some exciting new commercials, shorts, reels, however you want to call them that are coming out. And you can also get the book, see it right here behind us, anywhere books are sold. And you can also get an ebook of it. So get out there, 
notice where people are streaking, and always remember to keep streaking. Better.